Hello everyone, Pantsman UK here with what in effect is episode zero of my new PM UK play series. 4067. Um, in case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm setting the chunk, the block ID for the block loader in additional pipes. <coughs> um, I just popped into Minecraft. Uh, so yeah, I've got a 1.0. I've got lots of things installed in it. Now I don't know how well this works in Camt with Camtasia. So there you go, 1.0. You'll already see I've got the resolution set to 1280-720. Um, I've got everything set in here much as I want it, including, actually, I say much as I want. Okay, that's fast, that's off. Uh, graphics is fancy. Mipmap type, I want linear. That's all correct. Uh, leave that to default. No, cloud height default, grass default, rain and snow default, default, default. Uh, yeah, I've got I've got Faithful 32 there um, with all the correct additions for <clears throat> this on. Uh, no, I don't want that done. Don't want that. That's on. That can be where it is. I want preloaded chunks set to eight for maximum. Uh, and let's have dynamic updates whilst we're stock still. Right. So, otherwise, that's all correct. <clears throat> Ooh, let's put it on the Vatic pack. Faithful pack. Right, so, here we go. I'm going to create the official new world. <clears throat> world name, PM UK Plays 1.0. Shame you can't highlight them. Um, now, I've got to kind of give it away. I intend to play this in hardcore. <coughs> One life only. So this will be quite tough for me. 1.0. So there's, there's the seed. PM UK plays. One point, uh, okay, let's start this again. PM UK. All in up, uppercase space plays with a capital P, three full stops, a space, 1.0. <clears throat> That's the seed. We'll see what that comes out with once I get in game. Uh, I'm not actually going to play terribly an awful lot here, because as I said, I don't really want to do a video yet. I will soon, but not yet. So there we go. There's the island. There's the time moving on quickly. I'm going to hit. Actually, first things first, I'm going to hit that. I'm going to turn that off because that's off now. <coughs> I will not have that on again in my Let's Play series. So, escape, save, and quit. <coughs> right then, um, things I wanted to tell you mods. Um, they're all up on my. Um, webs my blog page um murray crane dot org m u w r a y c r a n e dot org slash index dot php slash p m u k plays uh tell you what give me two seconds I'll just check this because I'm not a hundred percent sure uh, crane dot org I'm terribly sorry for the noise uh Right, so there we go, murraycrane.org slash index.php slash pmuk hyphen plays slash. And those are all forward slashes, not any other sorts of slashes. Um, I'll just visit so you can see it. There you go, that's the page. I've got it printed out in front of me. So I'm just going to read off the mod list. Um, and I'll give you some hints as to some of the things I found whilst I was installing them. Um, we've got Rizagami's Mod Loader and Audio Mod, 
put both of those on at the same time. Flans Mod Loader MP, put that on at the same time as the Rizigami mods. Space Toad and it's actually Space Toad and Ellerum's MC Forge, but um, there you go. MC Forge, all of those went in at the same time. <coughs> um, at that point, I also installed Nyrol's Minecraft resolutions. I gave it a run to ensure that the mods folder was built, and I set the resolution to 1280x720 and set that as the default. I then went, closed it all down, went back out, and also installed Marglyph's Too Many Items, Shadow Alex's, sorry, Shadow Alex 1's Convenient Inventories, and SP614X's Optifine. Um, now, the reason I did it that way, rather than just chucking the whole lot in, in one go, because when I did try to chuck it all in one go, Optifine lost the Minecraft resolutions um, settings in video. So by installing resolutions and setting the, the resolution I want first, I could then install Optifine, wipe out all the stuff for um, Minecraft resolutions and not have any problems later on. <clears throat> As it says, I've got Vatix Faithful 32 by 32 texture pack on with the Buildcraft and Optifine editions. Uh, they're all in there now. And then for actual mods, we've got our Blackers Industrial Craft 2, uh, aliases Wireless Redstone, um, which luckily enough now has all the bits in, included in it, so you don't have to install anything extra. Um, CJB's More Info, uh, I've got to turn off everything apart from the More Info part of CJB's mods. Um, but that's easy enough. You do that inside of modloader. What name me? I'll do that in a moment. I've got Darth P PVF's tree, capac tree capitator, uh, the Stormbringer's fixed Zeldo pipe, Zeldo's pipes for 1.0, Ellerum's Red Power 2.0, all parts of RP4, Exanadu sponges, Sasengi's forestry for Minecraft, Space Hose Buildcraft 2.2, or again all parts of it. Uh, Eurus Qwerty's Craft Guide and Xenophobe's Equivalent Exchange, um, which again has the Equivalent Exchange, sorry, has the IC2 bits included so you don't have to put them in separately anymore. Um, and as it says at the bottom of the page, as soon as there are these, these ones are updated, I'll be including those. That's CPT, <laughs> teeth in, uh, uh, Zippiness's Advanced Machines, but as I'm guessing, CPW will be the first to get one of those out. Fallen Beasts, more composite armor, more tree taps, and personal teleporters. Again, that's just a matter of time. And Pigalot's Bucket Filler for Buildcraft. Um, I'm giving that some consideration still. Um, I've, I've said I'll put it in when it's updated, but I'm not 100% sure I will. Because um, the only thing that lets you do is uh, make... Actually, it make, lets you make water <coughs> cells as well as lava cells. If it had been only lava cells, I'd have said no to that and gotten on with it. Um, so, yeah, that's that's the mod list. Um, as I said, close that down. Let's have this. And we will go into modloader.config. Uh, CPW's bits aren't listed. Um, now that comes as a surprise to me. Did I install CPW? <clears throat> yeah, I've got CJB's mods, sorry. Oh, I've been a fool. <laughs> it's one of those. It's not a it's not just a throw it in the mods folder. Right, in that case back to me. Collection in here. Let's get rid of that temporarily. Oh, it's running. Let's quit the game. Get rid of that. Right then, set and zip extract. Not extract, open. Put in your 32 by 32 texture pack. I don't want to because I'm not doing anything that would require that. Uh, put in your Minecraft folder, mods and resources, mods and resources, yep, yep, 
and put in your Minecraft jar. Well, I don't want any of the bits that the Minecraft jar bits get you. Uh, uh, install acr.plus or yy.plus if you want the x-ray mod, which I don't. Install vi.plus if you want to use fly, which I don't. So there we go. Let's run it up again. <coughs> Because this will install, this will ensure that the things that need to go in mod loader config go in mod loader config. Oh, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good. Yeah, there we go. Right, what's crashed? Slot 201. Well, that's okay because I'm going to turn off those things in mod loader config. <coughs> Except I can't because it hasn't added the things in yet. Uh, right, what was the what was the thing it said didn't work? I'll turn off I'll turn off whatever it was it was clashing with. <coughs> yeah, whatever CJBs was clashing with, I'll turn off temporarily. Um, that's forestry. Right, so forestry, 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 forestry. Let's turn forestry plastic craft off and forestry off. There we go, save. See, this is the fun you get when you install lots and lots of mods. <clears throat> Let's hope this works a bit better. Yep, there we go. Right, so quit. Now, all the CJB things, uh, more info on item spawner off, x-ray off, chat off, cheats off, teleport off, minimap off, main, don't know if I need that, mob filter off, mobs off, items off. Um, shall I turn main off and see if it dies? So let's turn forestry and forestry plastic craft back on. <coughs> Save. Back into it. So yeah, um, the actual Let's Play series, when I get it started, I might do an hour or two tonight. Excellent, didn't crash. Um, Khan. <clears throat> so the actual Let's Play series is going to be hardcore mode. Um, I want to make this as tough as I can for myself, um, which means I'll be playing it quite slowly in real terms. Um, but to that extent, I'm going to be recording. I think I'm going to be recording certainly for the first few episodes a couple of hours each time um, there'll be lots of diggy diggy to start with and I don't intend to let you sorry I don't intend to make you watch me do diggy diggy because you've seen me do diggy diggy in the first PM UK plays um, so there we go how long are we on this oh we're not even 15 minutes yet let's go into sandbox because sandbox is creative. Same same seed but creative mode. So what I'm gonna do. Oh, it's a little volcano over there. Well that's quite nice. Let's spend a few minutes just wandering around having a look at my spawn area. So there's some there's some sugar cane, that's nice. We've got a couple of trees on this little bit of island. We've got three trees on this little bit of island. Plenty of yellow flowers. I will pick those up. Uh, what's down there? <gasps> oh! Now, as a as an initial starting hole in the ground, that's not terrible. I don't necessarily intend to use it, but it's not terrible. Oh! 
Optifine is starting to get crunky because I haven't let the, I haven't stood around and let this load the chunks. <clears throat> There we go. Um, this is not a great starting point by the looks of it. It's okay, but it's not great. Um, I don't know if I made it clear in the first playthrough, let's play, sorry, but I prefer to start somewhere close to some grassland, close to some woodland. Uh, that ensures you get all the really good friendly mobs to start with. So anyway, that's it. I'm going to call a stop to this now. Um, and next time you hear from the 1.0 Let's Play series, it'll be when I'm actually doing episode one. Um, hope you all have a good festive break. Those of you who are watching this the day I upload it, which will be today in actual fact, the uh, 19th of December 2011. Um, so I hope you all have a nice festive break. <clears throat> and if you're watching this some other time of year, I hope you're having a good day. And if not, I hope this makes your day a little bit better. Anyhow, uh, yeah, I think we're calling into it there. Fatty bye for now. <laughs>